Hello, this is me recording another <clears throat> video. Uh, this is Roblox scripting for beginners, and today I'm going to go over um, some more about the structure of of a character. Um, so first of all, let's go to test play solo, and um, so here here's our player. So notice uh, we um, okay well basically this is how it works for every player um, they have a player object in the players um, area uh, right here as you can see and they also have a character which is in the workspace which is this thing right here so there's a difference between the player and the character the player um, it has things like your backpack um, and it has your GUI, uh, has uh, your starter gear. You can also put leaderboards in it. So um, that's how sometimes you see like your kills and wipeouts up here. That's that's your leaderboard. And I'll I'll talk about making your own leaderboard in a later video. Um, but this. Uh, so that's that's kind of what you need to know because this is really important to scripting. Um, you have your player and your character, which are two different things. They do have the same name, which is also important to know. For example, you may want to get, um, you may want to find the player uh, from the character, um, but uh, that's you don't need to understand what I just um, said just now, but. Um, yeah, this is how it works. So you got the the character is you know the the bricks and all this stuff like that. You got the arms and the legs and the torso and the head. That's how we removed the head because the player's character is um, always inside the workspace. And so, as you can see, we have all this stuff here. I I can't remember if I talked about this in the previous video, but uh, you have all these different scripts that do stuff. Um, this animate thing makes it so you can actually walk around. Yeah, I as, as you can see, I have a few heads. And there's our humanoid, which keeps track of our health. And also, if you were to equip a tool, so I'm going, I'm going to equip this meteor staff. The meteor staff tool goes um, from your player's backpack into your player's character as you can see right here so then if I um, so you can see the meteor staff right there but if I deselect it it goes back into the player's backpack um, so that's another thing you should know uh, if you want to learn scripting and yeah that's kind of what I want to talk about so Let's um hold on, let me pause the video for a sec. Alright, so what we're going to do next is we're going to make a brick that kills you, so we're gonna make lava. So let's exit out of play solo here. And remember I went over the humanoid. So the humanoid keeps track of health, which is in the player. So first of all, let's create another brick. And so let's search part. And here's our brick. Let's make it red. And we also let's we need to insert a script into it. So um yeah, script. And so here's our script editing page. This is the first time I've uh, I've had one of these in my videos. Uh, this is where you're going to have all your scripts and stuff. Well, you'll have different scripts in different uh, pages. But that doesn't matter. So, as you can see, the script is inside this part. And, um, so, first of all, let me, let me write up a little script here. Alrighty, so, here's our script. And, um, this script pretty much... You know, it kills the player when they touch it, so let me demonstrate. 
and so instead of going to tools, test, play solo, you can also press F6, which is much faster. And uh, so if we touch this brick, we die. And obviously, uh, you've seen these used in obstacle obstacle courses and stuff and such. So um, you you can use like a free model one of these, but it's much cooler to make your own. Um, and so this is how we make it. So what we're doing is we're creating our own function. And if you remember, like uh, game dot workspace dot player one dot head remove. That's a function. Well, we're making our own one of those, and we're calling it kill. And so what that does is, um, uh, when the player touches the brick, and that's this line right here it will tell it to kill and um, here's our function right here kill and this is what it does I'll explain um, more in detail how this works in a minute so here's how it works so it um, it's checking to see um, what the humanoid is uh, well if there is a humanoid and so it's saying okay well first of all right here this brick in the parentheses uh, that is whatever touched the brick. So, um, it, it might be the player's leg. That's most likely the case. It's going to be the, or the player's character's leg. Um, and when the leg touches it, it's going to uh, find the humanoid, uh, which is the brick dot parent, because the leg's parent is the character. Uh, it's a little bit confusing, probably, but uh, just remember that. If you, if you visualize it, uh, the the legs parent is the character and then inside the character is the humanoid which keeps track of the health and so um, we use find first child which is also a function and find first child uh, looks for um, a child inside the uh, whatever you're using this function on so in this case we're using find first child on the on the character and so it's looking for the humanoid inside the character and we need to put it in quotations um, because it uh, find first child uses a string value a string value is you know this is a string value it has um, pretty much characters it can have numbers in it uh, but we want to find the humanoid and uh, so that's how it works and so then it's gonna see if the humanoid is there then you know set the humanoids health to zero and uh, I don't have much time to explain this more for now but uh, I'm gonna have an, um, another episode um, which explains this script some more and I'll uh, so then everything will be cleared up for you then uh, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next tutorial.